Hi, it's Lynn from Lenny C Designs and today I'm going to show you how I made this card. Um, it's using a technique called triple layer stamping and I'm using the Blooms and Wishes um, stamp set, the butterfly from the Bold Blood Butterfly Framelits dies and I am... Um, using sorry mine's gone blank and apologies i have to apologize for not um making any videos for a little while it's been a bit bit going on i was away at the weekend and things have been a, just a little bit hectic so um i'm back after a, a break of a couple of weeks so apologies for not letting you know in advance and thank you for all my subscribers. I'm now at 100, which is absolutely amazing. So um, the base is um, Rich Razzleberry. And then for the stamping, I have used Sweet Sugar Plum, Blushing Bride and Sahara Sand. The base um, is a standard A6 um, card, which is 21 uh, 21 by 14.9 um, and scored at um, 10 and a half. I've got two um, whisper white matting layers, one for the inside and um, another for stamping, um, which is half a centimetre difference. So it's 10 by 14.4. And if then I've got a a matting layer of um, Enrich Razzleberry which is 8 by 12.4 so 2 centimetres off that layer and then there is half a centimetre off that layer so it goes there which is 7.5 by 11.9 and then another two layers the Rich Razzleberry is 5.5 .5 by 9.9 .9 and this is 5 by 9.4. Now um, you'll see on this one that I've got a um, butterfly and that's used cut out from the framelit and what I actually do um, because I'm quite frugal is I've cut that out of that base layer and actually uh, that matting layer and by the when it's actually all put together you'll never notice that it's there. So I'm going to get it on with the stamping um, we'll put the inside to one side at the moment. I've got um, a foam pad underneath because the stamps I'm using are photopolymer and um, they st I find they stamp better when you've got something underneath. Um, so I'm just going to use a little bit of a removable tape and I'm going to lay these on top of each other. Marley, my pussycat's just come in to keep me company. My husband's gone to bed. So let's put that there. And then we will open up and start stamping. Now I've used um, the colour combinations here. I've taken inspiration from the um, DSP, um, matching DSP. And you can see that here. I've just haven't used any green um, so there we go now um, I'm going to use one of the um, larger images in the sugar plum and the key to this is to try and get the stamping on all three layers so I'm going to Actually should have done the sentiment first so we, we know where that's going to be do that there. perfect 
here I've got my stamping scrub which I've already sprayed some stamping mist on but I will clean as I go just in case I need to go back and actually while I think on it I'm going to do one of those on the inside so there we are that's that one done Um, the next largest one which I'm going to do in the Christian Bride and I'm stamping off actually in between because I don't want to, um, I want to make sure I've got a clean image on there. And you'll notice little bits of white around here where the, the cards join, but that will be covered up by the um, matting layers. So that's there. And I'm going to do on there. Using the witch razzleberry for the centres of all of the flowers. And all of these images come from the stone stamp set, which I think is great. Oh, I just think it's so lovely. Very rich colour. I'm a pink and purple girl anyway. So that's right up my alley. Now I didn't stamp that particularly well, so I'm going to try and do that again. Oh, I don't like that look. It's I've got some ink around the edge. So what do we do? We flip it over and we do that side. So. very juicy just have to tap it it's very easy to over ink I'm happy with that now let's go back and do Russian Bride Russian Bride There we go, that's better. Now, I'm just going to close those inks up. And the Sahara sand that I want, I'm actually going to use another one of the flower images. But I'm going to stamp off first because I want it to be pale. I can just fill in the blank spaces. Doesn't matter if it goes over anything. I can layer layer it up. There 
there we go I'm happy with that lovely I'm just going to gently pull those apart I'm going to leave the inside blank to rub off that temporary adhesive and I'm going to use some of the liquid glue around the edge I'm going to just do it around the edge because I want to avoid the, the hole in the middle Actually, it doesn't really matter about taking that taking that off because we're just going to stick it back down in, in, any, in any event. Now I'm going to adhere this layer. do with my card there we go probably put this together the wrong way is there a right way and a wrong way I don't know I guess as long as you're happy with the way you're doing it that's absolutely fine comes together rather lovely um, and you'll see that you can't actually see any of the white bits. Now before I idea this bit, I'm going to put some ribbon on. Um, I think this ribbon is actually retiring, or has already retired. Um, but I'm going to put that on the back with some fast fuse. Works better if it's the right way up. Let's have a look. And off to that side. That's rather lovely. I'm getting the hang of this, I think. I've just been away with some friends to Rome, which was absolutely wonderful. Bit of sunshine, we've got lots of rain here in the UK, um, and it's been cold for the time of year, so it was really nice to get away. Um, here is the butterfly that I did. Now I'm just going to use the bone folder, put a bit of shaping those wings a bit of the mono glue and we will have him that way this time we want, no we'll go that way for a change and then i'm going to use some of the basic pearls put one there One there, one there, just to make a little triangle. There we have the outside. We will. Oh, that was the bit we liked. Mm -hmm. Ooh. There we have the inside, nicely done, and we are done, and I actually in advance of starting videoing I did that, so there we are, and that's the one I did earlier, and that's the one I've just done, so um, very quick and easy to do, uh, it's almost your own DSP, hope you like the video sorry I've been away for a while I will um, be back with more on a more regular basis or we'll try to anyway thanks for watching bye bye